Welcome to Uncaged. Today we're speaking with Deepak Nadig. Deepak is the head of markets for Bosch Global Software Technologies. Bosch, I think everyone in the world knows that brand, but they are one of the world's leading global suppliers of technology and services, offering end-to-end -end engineering, IT, and business solutions. Deepak spent several years here at Bosch and excited to hear more about his journey there. Before we get to that point, Deepak, tell us a little bit about you and your career. Yeah, sure. Um, it is almost two decades that I've spent with Bosch, very close, almost two. Um, I started as a business analyst uh, back in 2004. Um, but if, if I see my journey as yes, from business analyst, then project management, then move towards uh, delivery management, pre-sales, sales, sales almost. <laughs> uh, uh, like, um, yeah, spending in many, many functions. Um, also from uh, the culture point of view, uh, it was a great opportunity for me that Bosch provided to work in several countries. Other than Africa, I would say I have, I think, touched every other um, every other location. So I've worked, lived in Singapore, then in India, then UAE, UK, Canada, US, Norway, in Germany now. <laughs> Since four plus years, I'm in Germany. And my current role, yes, I uh, am responsible for uh, uh, developing our digital and IT business for European market. Um, yeah, and uh, so far, everything is going very well. Well, I won't ask you specifics about which market you liked the most now that I know you're working <laughs> across Europe, so I won't ask you to pick favorites, but tell me a little bit more about what you and your team are working on right now at Bosch. If we look at uh, the mega trends and the... Uh, and the industry, how is industry today, um, let's say, looking for solutions? I'm quite happy, also satisfied with the kind of topics we are working on. So just to name a few topics, um, recently, um, that was in 2023, we won a CS award for basically enhancing the sleep pattern, sleep for uh, the life of individuals, right? So there we have developed solutions to enhance and improve the quality of sleep. That's one topic. Sleeping. Sleep, Sleeping. Yes. Oh, yes. Well, that's important. Using that's technology, important. using technology for sure. Uh, another topic, if I want to bring up um, in healthcare, in drug discovery process, using our artificial intelligence uh, algorithms, we are trying to fast track drug discovery process to again, one of the marquee pharmaceutical companies. So that can be a second topic. A third topic, um, we are building solutions to make a product more autonomous. So which means making product intelligent. So be it a product which is like a tire, like a, uh, like a valve, uh, a battery. You will name a product, our technology using, let's say, sensor software service, we will be able to autonomize a product and make the product more intelligent. So it's really an exciting topic for my team to work on. Wow. I mean, it sounds to me that you're working on some quite huge issues. How does Bosch choose what to prioritize? How does it focus on things like sleep versus other topics? Okay. So uh, in Bosch, we believe that... Um, we would want to be practitioners solving customers' problem, uh, which is primarily, if, if, if I look at the uh, very purpose of Bosch, right? We call ourselves uh, Bosch for sure, invented for life. So we want to improve the health of the society. We want to improve the quality of life of individuals, right? That's how we come to market. And then the solutions that we try working on, you ask me, how do you differentiate it? We are picking those areas which are really a pressing problem in the industry, which means um, if we look at sustainability as a topic, which is a mega mega topic today for everybody, right? The, the C level, the board level is today concerned about 
solving this uh, major topic. There we have solutions, let's say in energy management. There we are, we are today uh, working with one of the water utility company, trying to see how do we optimize uh, and also reduce the carbon footprint, reduce the energy reduction, energy management, right? So we pick those mega topics which are the pressing problem of the society. You ask me, then then we, I, as I talked, healthcare as a topic or sleep as a topic. When we pick, yeah. yes, we are trying to improve the <laughs> improve the situation using our technology on a product, right? So it's mostly our technology which on a product we we basically implement and uh, it should basically solve a mega problem. That's amazing. I mean, what an exciting job, to be honest with you. I think of a topic like sleep as being something that not enough people really process on how important it is. And then <laughs> you realize, like, I'm so happy to hear that companies like Bosch are focused on solutions in that space. But I mean, Deepak, you've had this wonderful career. You've worked all over the world. You're working on some of the most fabulous problems that are out there to solve. Tell me what drives your passion for working at Bosch and for everything that you do. Okay. Um if I look at my uh, my role, um, I'm so satisfied, uh, mainly because I work in a company like Bosch, a really large uh, corporation. However, I still operate my portfolio or my uh, my team in a way which is exactly like a startup. So we have fixed certain broad boundary conditions, but I have all the freedom to basically take my bets. So. We mm -hmm. definitely have to look at the future and then pick our bets. So I am able to decide uh, the topics, the portfolio, the, the bets, which I want to really uh, put on. Um, that's that's one side. On the other side, yes, uh, I have a fabulous team. I should say we have built uh, in the past few years a fabulous team of without yeah. whose support, I would say nothing would have been so possible. Um, a fabulous team. Um, we work so closely, it's, I would say it's more, more like a family. Uh, the third thing, even, even within Europe, uh, right? Uh, if you, you, I know you're from America, but if I look at Europe, so many different cultures, we have to be so much adaptive. So some days I have, I've, I, I, really, I, I have, uh, started in one country, let's say breakfast in a country, lunch, another location, another country. Uh, evening another, and finally I've come back to Stuttgart, Germany, right? So I have to be so much adaptive to so many cultures in Europe. Still, we are able to, yeah, uh, differentiate those cultures and still be relevant to those markets. Now, I mean, you're working across Europe and I've spent quite a bit of time in my own career in Europe. and I do love working across Europe. However, there are differences in each country and they prioritize things in their own unique ways. Do you find that there are certain products and solutions that are more appealing to certain markets over others? For sure, yes. For sure, yes. Um, see, uh, if we want to position some of our solutions, let's say, um, if, I, if I just compare uh, a German market towards the way we, let's say, do a business in Germany, Vis a vis mm -hmm. in Italy, vis a vis to let's say UK, it's completely different. Uh, we have wow. to be sensitive to those cultures. We have to be sensitive to how they would, let's say, react to one, of course, Bosch brand. Another, uh, for them, for sure, today most of the most of those industries, right? Broadly, they would all talk about digital transformation, but uh, in terms of, I would say, adapt to such technology change management it is mm. not the same there are definitely a lot of differences so we we have that kind of understanding to those markets to those cultures and uh, we position different topics to different solutions maybe i can extend this towards another uh, thing yeah inside 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 europe itself if you see the uh, matured market but there is definitely aging population Right, mm -hmm. so each of the country is uh, reciprocating to those, let's say, next ten years 
uh, topics or next, next, next 10 year problems in a very, very different way. So these, if we have the understanding of uh, those long-term concerns of such a country or such a culture, such a society, um, we need to uh, basically provide solutions to solve such problems very differently to very different markets. It's really interesting. I mean, that is another one of those mega issues, the aging of populations. I know that it's truly happening now almost across the world, whether it be the stories that we always hear about countries like Italy and Spain with their aging populations, but even the U.S. now and also markets like Japan and so many, many others. So it's going to be a topic that I think is almost global, not just European at this point, for sure. But tell me a little bit more, Deepak, about what you see on the horizon here at Bosch. I mean, there's so many exciting things that we hear about generally in technology these days. A lot of discussion about applying machine learning and AI. How are these things being thought through with you and your team? See, Bosch exists for around 140 plus years, right? So around 140 years. years. Um, So we have seen as as an organization, we have seen so many ups and downs, economic uh, ups and downs. So uh, society has changed so much in the last 140 years. Um, When we want to, let's say now decide, or let's say think of uh, implementing some of those solutions for our customers, we are definitely thinking about long term. Uh, today, if you ask me those technology trends which you are working on, industry cloud is one topic. So, which, in our opinion, would would be different would be differentiating in the market in the years to come. Okay. Everybody is talking about generative AI. We also have taken our bets, but Bosch has a very very different approach towards artificial intelligence. We have our own Bosch code of ethics to work on AI because AI on one side may definitely solve very, very big problems, but if by chance misused or if the use case is not well understood and if it's implemented on a wrong use case, it can be more dangerous, more harmful. So we have that kind of sense to use AI in a way where it would basically to improve the uh, productivity, improve the social conditions of a society rather than used or misused towards any destruction. So that's something which as an organization, we have our basic values, basic principles in which uh, we take our solutions to market. Sustainability is another topic. So I already talked about it uh, as to how do we provide solutions in energy management, water management, smart city initiatives where we have our solutions or in transportation and logistics solutions where we are trying to also bring the carbon footprint uh, to as minimal as possible. So we pick our our topics very carefully uh, so that we are trying to add value to those social causes and towards the society. I can see how you're framing it up in a way where the vision, the ethics, the mission of what Bosch has always stood for for 140 years now continues to get applied, but to new challenges. Exactly. Yes. Yeah. I mean, Deepak, it's been amazing to talk to you about what you're working on with Bosch. I'm jealous that you get to work across Europe. What a fun (laughs) job that must be. If someone wanted to learn more about what you and the Bosch Global Software Technologies Group is up to, where's the best place to reach you? They can for sure reach me on my LinkedIn, but uh, uh, we have our website, uh, which is bosch-softwaretechnologies.com there they can definitely uh, look at more information about Bosch uh, and get to know more about what we do, how we solve customer challenges, problems for sure. Uh, that's, That's the place they have to reach out to. Well, you know, I think that probably my big takeaway, Deepak, is that we're seeing Bosch 
really prioritize some very, very large challenges that are software engineering challenges and coming up with really innovative approaches and solutions to resolve these things, whilst mm -hmm. also staying true to kind of the mission and vision and ethics of the company. And uh, you have had a front row seat and played a leadership role across the business for several years. And uh, I thank you for sharing it with us today. We've been speaking with Deepak Nadig. He is the head of markets for Europe for Bosch Global Software Technologies. And we've been talking to him really about how his team is working on everything from solving sleep issues all the way through to some pharmaceutical and medical issues as well, really kind of solving a ton of major challenges also facing the world in terms of things like climate and sustainability, and also taking, I'd say, what sounds to me a very ethical viewpoint on things like generative AI and making sure that we don't create the next Terminator whilst also using the technology to benefit and strengthen humanity. So Deepak, thank you so much for being on the Uncaged Show today, and we look forward to having you back. Thanks, Ben. Thank you very much. Cheers. Cheers.